for the sign of Leo. Hello and welcome to our channel. So Leo, in the recent past, well, I kind of switched it up a little bit. I, I'm not saying in the recent past, but this is going to be for the recent past energy. The recent past energy for the person that you're involved with. Now, we got the Five of Pentacles, and it's with the Wheel of Fortune. Now, when you get the Five of Pentacles, it could be a time when you're feeling less than secure. Now, the thing is to remember that there's always help available when we need it from forces seen and unseen. It, this could be about feeling alone, but you've got the capacity to change that, so... It's all about reaching out. You could start to feel left out in the cold by someone. Or you could feel as though everyone else in the world has everything. And you're the only one suffering. But you have to realize that this is not the case. Do the best you can with what you have. But remember, the wise thing to do is if you need help, is to reach out. Yeah. Help is always available when you need it. Now, that's a little bit about the Five of Pentacles. Now, it's with this Will of Fortune. Now, the Will of Fortune is a card that reminds us that this too shall pass. Whether it's good times or bad times, it passes. Because the will constantly turns. Now, if suddenly you find yourself sitting on top of the world, make sure you keep your perspective because... As that too, like everything else, changes. So live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is really outside of our control. But even that's okay. Just roll with the changes and think positive. So the recent past energy for you and the person that you're dealing with Five of Pentacles, and it's clarified by this world card. Now, what I'm getting is that for you, Leo, you had a lot of great opportunities or a lot of great things going on for you. You had it going on. Yeah, maybe, I don't know what, what you were doing, but things were looking up for you in a very, very positive way. And you probably were feeling really optimistic and hopeful about a lot of things. Your energy was at a peak, and like I said, you're probably exuding a lot of confidence. Something was going on, whereas fortune was in your favor. Yeah, now, the person that you're dealing with, they probably felt uh, insecure about, what's about what was going on. Yeah, so they experienced some discomfort. While you were in a cycle where things were going really, really well for you, really well, and it made them feel insecure, insecure about the connection, insecure about you, maybe insecure about, maybe it brought out their insecurities, yeah, because maybe they weren't doing as well as you were. Yeah, so they, they might have started to feel like they were left out. And that everything was going on great for you, but they were left out in the cold by you. Could have been something like that. Um, yeah, because you were doing a lot better than they were. That could have been it also. So, yeah, they started to feel really insecure. But that's a recent past energy. Now let's move on and let's take a look and see what we got for the present energy. We got the Page of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Now the Page of Pentacles, it's actually, well it can be a card about boredom in some ways. You can be tempted to say or do things to shake things and people up for a little excitement. But you got to make sure you rethink that impulse coming up in October. You want to make sure you do that. You gotta find a better use of your energy because we all know excitement, it can be created. The Page of Pentacles is a great energy to support you when you have somewhat tedious work to get accomplished. 
It does bring focus, backbone, and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. No, it's with the King of Wands, and this King of Wands is showing a man with hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. This person, the King of Wands, they usually serve as a mentor for you. It's a very, very positive energy. Now, when it does not represent an actual person in your life, it signifies that you could have a lot of men around you who are very supportive of you and think really well of you. So you'll start to feel really ambitious, goal-oriented, and you're going to have the will to accomplish whatever you have in mind. So, Leo, with these two cards paired together, Page of Pentacles, clarified by the King of Wands, well, yeah, I'm picking up that you, you could start to feel or you, you're starting to feel like you're bored with this connection. Yeah, your person was feeling insecure. Things are going good for you. But you're just, you're like losing interest. You're bored. Uh, or you feel like the connection has lost some of its, lo some of its luster. It's, it's losing luster. Or you could be losing luster for this person that you're involved with. But um, you still have caring and protective feelings for this person. You still do. Yes, you do. That's what the King of Wands is. You still have emotions for this person. But you feel like something is losing its zest, its zing. The oomph is, 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 is dissipating. The spark is, is not as strong as it used to be. And it could be, be, could be because they were showing a lot of insecurities. Yeah, you were at a peak and it was probably um, at their best interest to stay at a peak with you. Because a lot of times when people show their insecurities, it can be a turn off for some people. Yeah, especially if they come across in a very negative way. Now... Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what we got for the challenge. We got judgment and we got the Queen of Pentacles. Now, judgment can be a card about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and judgments that are made too hastily. And if you know you're prone to doing such things, it's going to be a sign to slow down, give things more thought, give people more chances. This could be a time of spiritual awakening. Now, it's with the Queen of Pentacles. Well, it's showing in this card. It's it's about um, comfort, wanting comfort. The Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is very down to earth, caring, sensible. She could be a housewife. She's the type that make that will make do. So. It can also mean that it's a time where you're spending time, money, and energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. And this is a good thing provided you don't take on too much debt. People could be looking to you for insight and or some advice. You'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. It could be a time period when you get a whole lot accomplished. So the challenge, Leo, judgment clarified by Queen of Pentacles. So... Yeah, like I said, you still have caring and protective feelings for the person in this connection. You still do with the King of Wands here. But you find that they're being very judgmental towards you now. Very judgmental. Yeah. And it's causing what this being judgmental is doing to the connection. It's causing it to be at a make or break. 
Yeah, they're starting to jump to conclusions and decisions. They don't offer forgiveness, maybe like they used to. Yeah, and it could be because they're being really judgmental now. But deep down, they want to bring the connection back to a comfort zone, back to where it was once at a very comfortable place. They want to bring it back to that. But they've been very judgmental against you. Very judgmental. And that's the challenge. Now, let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the outcome is. Now, we've got the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Now, the Queen of Swords, you can point to a woman in your life. Because there's a lady in the picture. But it could go either way. This is one. This is a person that's not to be trifled with. She'll have hair on the dark end of the spectrum. Dark hair, dark eyes. But it could, it could go either way. Now, if this is not a person, it can point to the need to be really forceful. Forceful and honest in some situation just to get your needs met. So you may need to put your foot down. The Queen of Swords, it does indicate that your instincts, they're serving you well. You've already, you already know what it is that you want and need. Now it's just about going after it. So it's a very forceful energy, this Queen of Swords. And a lot of people find this energy really abrasive. Now, it's with the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands, you could feel as though you're carrying a heavy burden. You might want to look at this really hard and see if there's any ways that you might lighten your load either literally or figuratively. Because if you look carefully, you could find that part of the burden you're carrying, it actually belongs to someone else. So it's going to be important for you to pace yourself at this time and try not to take on too much. Yeah, so the outcome, Leo, Queen of Swords, clarified by this Ten of Wands. Yeah, so... Yeah, with this Queen of Swords here, I'm kidding that... Like I said, for the challenge, your person is very judgmental. Very... Um, being very difficult and it's causing the connection to be at a make or break. Now, this is showing that it could cause you to um, cut cut this person out or put a stop to certain things that are going on in the connection. You're putting your foot down. That's what the Queen of Swords does. She doesn't take any mess. So, yeah, you're putting a stop to a lot of nonsense that your person is doing. Yeah, all this being judgmental and feeling insecure and left out in the cold. Yeah, you, you're being forceful about putting a stop to it. Or you, some, for some of you, you could be thinking about putting a stop to the connection. But for most of you, you're putting your foot down. It's, it's time out for this nonsense. Because you still have caring and protective feelings for this person. And like I said, deep down inside, they want to bring it back to a comfort zone. Yeah, so I don't know what what you, what you happened, uh, Leo, whereas things are going really good for you. And did your money take off and theirs didn't? Your money take off in a great way. Something happened and it's causing all this... Causing all these problems here. Yeah, and it's because they start to feel left out or insecure. Yeah, that's the backbone of all of this. But anyway, you you realize that you got to put your foot down, okay? And it just seems, the connection seems difficult now. Yeah, because with the Ten of Wands here, it can be that your person... They're undergoing, they're undergoing a rough time. And it actually has nothing to do with this relationship or the relationship, but it needs your support. So maybe your person, they're going through something. And it actually has nothing to do with 
what you think it does. So, because that's what the Ten of Wands can stand for also. There's a relationship difficulties now, but like I said, it could be that your person is going through a rough time. And it really has nothing to do with the relationship. But it needs your support, so you might want to think about that. They could be going through something. Yeah, so the relationship, it's, a, it's difficult now. But you're realizing you got to put your foot down. And then, who knows, things could turn around. Your person, they do want to bring it back to a comfort, a comfortable place. They want to do that. 